how dare we not? It, it is within our power to fix this. It's in my power to fix this and not let these mountain lions go extinct. You know, it, it became a really personal cause for me. My name is Beth Pratt. I am the California Regional Executive Director for the National Wildlife Federation, and I lead the Save LA Cougars campaign, and that is to build the Wallace-Annenberg Wildlife Crossing. In a nutshell, the Wallace-Annenberg Wildlife Crossing is about reinventing conservation and looking at spaces like freeways, which you think would be irredeemable for nature or wildlife, um, rejuvenating them to ensure that the wild world survives. It's also about making sure a population of mountain lions don't go extinct. So if you're a, a bird flying over this wildlife crossing, what you're going to see is this incredible natural landscape over a freeway. And it is connecting the landscape on both sides with shrubs and native plants and and soil and you know, everything that you would find in a natural habitat. You know, wildlife crossings are nothing new. They've been done all over the world, but the idea to do one in such an urban area, that is new. We are also providing new data and science for future crossings because nobody's ever attempted a wildlife crossing in such an urban area. Trying to do something unprecedented and big and visionary always comes with challenges. And I think the biggest one is just getting people to see the need for this. We have the science on our side. We just were still trying to scope out what solution we needed based on that science and how it was going to come about. The success of the wildlife crossing is wildlife use it, that the mountain lions are able to move freely and that we bring up the genetic diversity of the mountain lion population and other wildlife. To me, the second measure of success is already happening though, which is that it is inspiring in the public discourse, talk about more wildlife crossings. It is connecting people. 2012, when I went out with the National Park Service biologist, Jeff Sick, Sikich, who was doing the groundbreaking research on this. And when he told me about that these mountain lions were going to likely go extinct within our lifetime, I just remember thinking quite clearly, you know, that first meeting, like not on my watch. I mean, this is something we actually can do something about. A lot of these environmental problems and ones I also work on, like climate change, it's just so hard to get your head around a solution. And this one just seemed like, you know, how dare we not? It, it is within our power to fix this. It's in my power to fix this and not let these mountain lions go extinct. So to be able to give back to that wild world and to save this mountain lion population uh, became a really personal cause for me. So I'm, I'm glad we succeeded.